Hi, I'm Lou. I like pool and I like ping pong, but I only have one game room, so I have to have a topper that goes on top of my pool table when I play ping pong. So I made an automated ping pong topper that would raise and lower off the pool table with the flick of a switch. Unfortunately, that was in my old house and I don't have it anymore, but I do have all the parts and I'll show you how I put it together. To raise and lower the ping pong topper, I used this winch motor. It had a controller like this that I took off and I'll show you what I replaced it with later. But it had a metal pulley on the winch that I cut off one half. It used to look like this one and I cut off one half and then as you can see I cut a split in it and then use these cotter keys to connect it to this long pipe. And this long pipe goes all the way down there and on this end I put two wheels that I bolted up to my ceiling joists and then I also of course bolted this to the ceiling joist and then I had some cables just a little thicker than this but metal cable that I screwed into this hole with a screw to hold it tight and then this cable wrapped around this pipe and then the end of it went down to the table on this end and also down here on this end. To make the moving ceiling I got two boards maybe two by twos and I put bolted wheels underneath them on both sides and then I put these on either side and then I put across these aren't really what I had but I put the metal pieces from a suspended ceiling you can get eight foot long pieces so I screwed in eight foot long pieces across my running rails and then that allowed me then to take ceiling tiles which this is not of course but allowing me to drop ceiling tiles into this whole grid that I had built. And then this whole thing slid back and forth on another track, or two tracks, of wood. I just got wood like this and I took the table saw and cut a slit down the middle of this that was just wide enough for that wheel so it would stay in the track the whole time and not fall off. So this thing was a slidable ceiling and then to move that ceiling I used an old garage door opener motor and you can see all that's been pulled out but you can see on the bottom right there is the chain drive. It was a chain drive garage door opener and there's a big coil of chain that I used. To, this was attached to that moving ceiling. Lastly, I'd like to show you this modified switch. This is a switch you can get for like 34 cents at the hardware store. And I, I got a little spring and attached it from the end of the switch. And then I put a piece of wire. I drilled through the switch and put a piece of wire and attached it to the spring. So it made it a momentary switch. And this is what I used to determine when the, the ceiling came to us to the right place. It would hit the switch and turn off my motor. Finally, here's the ping pong topper itself. I actually took a ping pong table and ripped off the legs and then replaced the frame with a heavy metal C-beam frame that goes all the way around the table. And I drilled a hole in the middle of the C-beam and put two bolts, one on either side, that attach to the cables to raise and lower the table. And you can see on the way up and down the thing could potentially rock but when it's on the pool table or against the ceiling it wouldn't do that. And then I just actually glued pennies to one side or the other to balance it perfectly so it went up and down flat. And here's what the C-beams look from the underside. There's the hole for the bolt 
And this is just the standard C-beam that you can get at the hardware store. I spray painted it black. See in the corners, I used an L bracket to hold them together. Thank you for watching and good luck building your automated topper.